Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to RT Share Tea, where respiratory therapists live out loud. With me, your host, Linda Fry, the Asthma Lady. Yes, everyone. Welcome to all. Welcome to anybody new. I just want to say thank you as always to everyone for all their support on all the projects that I'm doing, um, especially in, during Asthma Awareness Month, which is the month of May. So I am a very busy person this month, but I still wanna continue just spreading positive vibes and, you know, we all in it together, that type of stuff. Yes. All right, guys, so just wanna let you guys know that we are having a vision board party, okay? Vision board party on June 10th. I don't wanna confuse anybody. Um, it, this is not something specific just to respiratory therapists or those in the healthcare profession. Now, if you don't know what a vision board is, that is a board, some people, you can think of it like a real, uh, Pinterest, okay, where um, you're picking your heart's desire for the future or things that you wish you had or things of interest, and you can put this on a poster board or uh, old school reference oak tag or phone board or these type of things, and you can have this board as a po point of reference when you are developing and creating goals for yourself for your year. And so I love vision boards. Um, I've been doing them for years and I have them in different uh, um, different forms. And so hopefully one day I'll find, I've been doing so much construction, a lot of moving around, I'll find one of them and then I can show you. So come through, have a good time. I was always that kid that liked to sprinkle glitter on everything, and why not now? Just sprinkle glitter <laughs> all over your life, whatever it is that you want to do. And the vision boards, honestly, they are what keeps me focused and know how to maneuver my day, my week, my year. So, and this is how I've been able to get as far as I have gotten in a short period of time or as a young person in my field okay so just want to talk about that june 10th the registration information will be in the description all right so if you're in the tri-state area pull up we're gonna have a good time all right so okay where am i going okay so um although for a lot of people who have been listening to me on this podcast for a little bit know that I have been doing this work for quite some time, just being in the hospital and in the community space in regards to asthma awareness and education, hence why they call me the asthma lady with the two E's. Um, you know, um, me being on the forefront, meaning more vocal about it in the social media space and just being um, more out and about in that aspect has made me, put me in the newbie, I guess, box. Like I'm I'm new to a lot of people. And so um, when I got invited by AAN, the Allergy and Asthma Network, I always wanna make sure, um, you know, I'm a good fit for something. Uh, and, um, you know, are we aligned? And the type of work that they do, I just was like, I'm on board, we good. I'll be there, I'm gonna do my thing. So when you come to a place where not a lot of people know you um, personally, you always, sometimes you have to fight your own anxiety on how people are going to receive you. Okay, so like I said, I'm, I'm, I was, pretty much the new kid on the block for them. Um, and, and that's fine, I, you know, I accept this. And um, I, I know I'm the new person and, and the, the other person has to figure out, well, well, you know, how, figure out things about me. So just to, um, and 
I what has helped me in this space is a and I know it's not always um, I, I don't want to make this sound like hocus pocus stuff or whatever, but I genuinely come in thinking positive things like, OK, I'm here for this mission and I'm also here to meet new people. So I try to um, find out other things. I try to find out about what other people are doing. Hey, what brings you here today? And listen and try to be, you know, relate. And it's like, oh, OK, well, that's interesting and find uh, um, find um, a place where we relate. Well, we all here for the same thing. <laughs> so, you know, just continue to hear other people and their story and just see if there is a, a, a connection there. And it's like, oh, this was this was great. So I, I tend to I had to start and I and I spoke about this in the past. I started to on on this path of being making myself comfortable being uncomfortable and um this has helped me a lot because like i said i'm i'm a very stable person what what i know and what i like is what i know and what i like <laughs> that's it but i'm but i do um i love to learn I, I love to learn new things and and just you know well what what is next year gonna look like what's what's the next you know so i really like this and this does make me get up in the morning and be excited to start my day and so um that is any for anybody that wants to change their outlook of their year or um want to explore new things that is the best thing i could tell you is just start to be comfortable being uncomfortable and training yourself in this matter and then um you will be able to and and i've been doing this for a little bit now um where i can be the only person um in in the room that looks like me and it's like okay that's that's fine i am the i might be the only uh, uh woman there or the only brown person or the only um you know on the younger end and um this is fine you know i'm just here to learn experience something new and tomorrow will be a new day and um yeah you i i the worst thing that can happen is that you die <laughs> that's what i learned and um after that you're if you didn't die you're you're fine All right so that's how things are moving forward for me being comfortable being uncomfortable okay so you can go to a new meeting and not know not one person at the meeting or the event or the seminar or whatever and still be okay um, I also was describing during my presentation, I was just speaking about just being an introvert with extrovert moments. So that's me. And hence why um, I always have the, the turtle <laughs> around me. So the turtle um, is 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 kind of like who i am that's why i'm so fascinated by i like turtles <laughs> because i am an introvert with extrovert moments so i in my shell for the most part and then when um you know it's time to speak up for patients or for those without a voice or for those who don't know their rights or for injustice or anything like that i will peek my head out and <laughs> we're gonna okay we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna move forward and and speak on this and bring awareness and that type of stuff so that is that is the 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 type of person that i am and but i'm still able to do these type of things as a as an introvert um with extrovert moments all right guys so know that you can train yourself on how to do these things so and know that i i love candy and um, there's so many, so many 
different candies out there, right? So for example, you have M&Ms. I love M&Ms. And um, there's so many different versions now of the M&Ms. Every year, I guess they come up with a new specialty flavor, all right? So, um, and not all M&Ms are for everybody. You understand some people just have their favorite and that's that's fine and i think that's how um it is with people uh you're you're you, you can be comfortable with knowing the fact that you're not everyone's m m fl uh, flavor <laughs> and it's fine um but just being comfortable with with that is the point you'll be fine <laughs> All right, guys. So, and um, I just want to say that, yeah, I'm excited for what the year has to come. I continue to push myself forward. And the words that I give you guys in the podcast, I'm also um, doing it in real time. Like I only compete with yesterday's version of, of me. So, and, and um, this helps me a lot. And so, yeah, guys. So anyway, like I said, I got to do the mommy stuff. Um, so thank you so much for listening to me. I, I hope you learned something new here today um, and so much more to come in the month of May. Like I said, as my awareness month, I'm all over town. So just look over, look at the social media posts. I'm everywhere. Um, once again, June 10th is our vision board party come have a good time if you're going to be in the tri-state area come have a good time come leave with, with your vision board raffles gifts all that good stuff and i'm going to have the information in the description uh also we are on the patreon space if you want to support rtcnt help us with some equipment help us with the events like that would help to 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 move forward with free events and just bringing people together so that's what those things are about so yes we're doing a lot of stuff super excited more guest co-hosts to come okay um so yes guys so once again thank you so much for everything i will see you next week and just like always remember to invest in yourself and only compete with yesterday's version of you all right guys bye